Hello y'all, hopefully my sunburn isn't too noticeable, but that's how you know summer is in full effect and we're about halfway through already, which means we need to start working on our July bullet journal setups. Oh yeah. Before we begin, I want to show you the behind the scenes. My inspiration for this month was a retro because I started with the color palette and then I was thinking, well, I also see a ton of these space retro things and I want to combine that. And that's how we got to this color palette that feels very 70s, 80s, but adds space in there. And I couldn't resist just adding some groovy patterns, which sounds really cringe when I say it, but I did have such a fun time making this. Now let's really begin. Starting off, I wanted something big and bold, and so I chose Saturn, and I had the world's worst time trying to get these wings to align, but ultimately I ended up with a silhouette that I liked, and then this funky font, I absolutely had the best time drawing. It was such a good experience with minimal effort. I love when your creativity just clicks like that. It's an exhilarating experience. I also added two of Saturn's moons because I feel like Saturn doesn't get enough of a rep for having moons or just moons in general don't get enough for being pretty cool. For this bullet journal, of course I'm taking a lot of artistic liberties, but I still wanted this to feel slightly grounded in science. Not that the retro patterns have anything to do with science, but I did have a great time with them. Now, the problems began when I started coloring in this warped pattern, because as you can see, the colors are really blurring together. On the test that I did, they looked a lot better, slightly separated, and if I had to do this over again, I think I would have kind of left more of the white, and then also, we all know that Saturn is not pink. I thought I could get away with having more yellow than pink and kind of adding a pink tinge to it. And ultimately I was very dissatisfied with the way that the colors worked. Still, I decided to press on and continue and the medium was working against me. These are zebra mild liners and they're really not designed to be used like Copics or Tombos. And when I added on Saturn rings, it just got so much worse. And so I decided to do something that I've done only once or twice in the nearly four years that I have been bullet journaling, and I ripped out the page and started over. Yeah. So here we have totally restarting except keeping some of the ideas, especially the parts that I really liked. We're keeping that bubbly, funky retro font with the lopsided, and instead of big Saturn, I decided to go with Jupiter, meaning I can get to use the color palette that I originally designed. With the second attempt, I began to work with the mild liners in this style that in my head I always call Van Gogh because it's lots of little mini strokes that kind of all go in one flow and it worked really, really well with these mild liners. I have done something very similar back in January. I did a galaxy theme with the same color palette and with the same swishy Van Gogh-y sort of style. And there's just something in my mind that says that space kind of needs to look like this because I think it's just an easy way to kind of let your mind fill in all the intricacies of space. But if you are looking at how Jupiter is doing, this girl is absolutely stunning and I'm so glad that I decided to start over, which again is something I've only done once or twice. But for this, I'm very proud of this and it maybe was worth the extra 45 minutes of work. Again, you can see I decided to include two of Galileo's moons just because, again, it adds a little bit more detail to that positive-negative balance. And also, my nerdy heart said that I should, although I did not bother to investigate which of the moons I drew. So, fake nerd over here. 
The downside to this stunning work of art is that it's not very retro-y and so I really had to put in the work with the July to make it feel a little bit more on theme or at least the theme that I had envisioned. The first thing I did was add a thick outline where it's thicker in some parts and thinner in other parts depending on the upstroke or downstroke of the letter. Next, and this is where I really had a lot of fun, was I added these wavy warped checker boxes and these were so much fun and also remind me uncannily almost of that one 80s wallpaper. That, that's the one. And coloring them in was a bit of an experience where I realized I am not coordinated enough for this, which was a little bit of a revelation. But even with about two mistakes in every letter, it still looks really good and I don't think anyone would ever notice from the outside. I barely even notice looking over it right now. Once I'd finished coloring in the checker boxes, there really wasn't too much more to do, so I just added this purple marker just to add a little bit of the atmosphere, or at least the appearance of an atmosphere. And then I began working on the opposite page of the cover page. I don't know what I would normally call it because usually it would be a calendar, but ever so often I get sick of my calendar because I very rarely use it and decide to make it into sort of a combination of a couple different trackers and just empty space for notes or just kind of a reference. And this is what the finished product looked like. My camera died in between and as I looked at this, I realized I really really disliked it so i told you it was a bad idea for me to start cutting out my pages because i went ahead and i made another one and i decided i liked that one much better fit on theme was a lot less crowded and so yep there are my scissors and i really am going to just slice it out just like that normally i would have conducted extremely precise surgery but my exacto knife was MIA and so I really am just going to pull it out just like that and that's what the completed page of failures or medium art that just didn't inspire me looks like and so we're left with this cover page monthly setup that I actually really do like. I'm going back over and just kind of pulling out that extra bit. Luckily the way that the book was set up this was right between the different folds of the book and so it actually came out really easily which is not what I was expecting. Ultimately, I really enjoy all of the little details that I was able to work in, and I'm really satisfied with not only the color palette, but also the retro and galactic elements that I was able to weave in. For my weekly spreads and habit trackers, I'm not really making a lot of effort to set those up right now because I prefer daily spreads. However, I did finally set up just one spread, but I didn't put any dates on it yet, so I can kind of use it and go. I'm trying it out. We'll see if it works. Have a wonderful summer, guys. Bye.